Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from the code forces educational round 91 problem C, create the team. So this is a good problem and it includes a lot of concepts. So let's start. There are n programmers that you want to split into several non-empty teams. Okay, so you have like n persons and every programmer has some skill of AI. So and you want to like assemble or like put these programmers into some groups such that you want to assemble the maximum number of teams from them. Okay, you want to form maximum number of teams from these like n programmers. The restriction is that the number of programmers in a team multiplied by the minimum skill among all the programmers in the team must be at least x. Which means that if you have like five person in the team and like the minimum person in the team is two, so the like the point of that whole team is 10 the size of the team into the minimum person skill so you have to make maximum number of teams such that the that score or the point we can call it point the maximum point of a team is at least x it should be x or greater than x so you have to uh, like form teams and also some programmers may left without a team it can also be fine you don't have to put every programmer in the team so you have to find a maximum number of team possible okay so as you can see in this example, we're going to first talk about the first example. Try to write this down. I always emphasize to write the problem down on some paper, try to solve it. And then you can easily find out some patterns. Okay. So the first thing which I see that we can easily sort this out. If we first sort this whole number of programmers, we can easily see what is the minimum number. Because we want to find out, we have to we want to find out some teams. Okay. We want to find out some like sections. Okay. Now, I have taken out the first example and I have sorted this. So this is X. So we want to find out the team such that uh, the point of the team should be greater than or equal to 10. Okay. So let's assume I make a take a person in the team 2. Like I am making a team in which I take the person 2. Because it is sorted the 2 is in the team then this is the minimum person. And if this is the minimum person then I want to see that how many more persons are required. Okay, so now because I want the team size or the team point should be equal to 10 and my minimum person is 2 in which I am like assuming that I have, I am putting 2 in the team then I will need 5 more people or like greater than 5. If I have 5 or more than 5 person in the team then our point will be is that 5 into the minimum person which is 2 or equal to 10. So if I increase the number of size of the person in the team then eventually our point will also increase. And thus, we want at least 5 person. So, if I take all these 5 person in a team, then this is a valid answer. Because five, 2 is the minimum, the size is 5 and the answer is, the minimum answer for this or point for this team is 10 and that is good. So, we have seen that there is a one team which is formed if I take 2 in the solution. Cool. Now, what we will do here is, let's assume that, uh, we are not, not, not taking 2 because if I take 2 in the team then it will be the minimum. Let's assume that I am forming a team which has 5 as the minimum person. Now if I take 5 as the minimum person then what I have to see here is that if I take 5 then how many teams member I should have. I should have at least like 5 divided by like 10 divided by 5 which is 2. So I should have at least 2 persons. I, I can have greater than 2 persons but I have to have to at least 2 persons. So if I fulfill the condition, I can take these two small persons, the least program, like least skill two persons, and then I have left with these two persons. Okay. So if I take nine as the person of the team, nine as the person of, or the smallest person in the team, nine, then how many persons more I have to require? Because if I just take nine, uh, like ten divided by nine, it is equal to like one. But I have to be greater than 9 because the point of the team is the size into the minimum person. If 9 is the minimum person, I require at least 2 persons such that 2 into 9 is 18 which is greater than 10. And thus, I can make a team of these 2 persons. Okay, so I know that I can take these 2 persons and these 2 persons, they can form a team and the maximum I can get is 2. If I left out this person, the first person, I can form a team like this. Okay, but as you can see, if I know that I am taking 5 as the minimum person, then I have to find out how many teams I can f form 
if I take like let's assume I am taking five as the minimum person, then for the team which I have to build, I have to require at least two person. So I have taken these two persons, and then I have to find out for the rest of the persons which are left. If I take two persons, how many teams I can form with this number of persons remaining? Okay, and thus I have to compute for this. But because I am moving, and thus as you can see, for every if I take seven as the minimum person, I have to take out some like I have to take out some of the numbers in in the later part of the array. I have to find out how many teams I can form with this person. And thus, I have to go ahead and find out the numbers. But if I move from back to front, I have actually calculated how calculated how many teams I can form if nine is the minimum person. If nine is the minimum person of this array, I have calculated. If we go like if we are doing the same thing, if we are doing the same thing is that we are taking two as a minimum person, and we have to check that how many persons I will take in the team to form a team. Okay, so I'll tell you how. So now our approach is we will go not from the start but go from the back. Okay. So now if I go from the back, what I'll do I'll make a DP. DP array used to store all the number of teams we can make. If this is the minimum person in the team, if this is the minimum person in the team, if there is no person in the team, then the minimum is zero. Okay. Now what I'll do if eleven is the minimum person in the team, then what we will see that. If I take just 11, I will divide 10 divided by 11. It is equal to like zero. But because and it is greater than like this. If I take just 11 in the minimum person in the team, the total size is one and the minimum person is 11. So the the total is equal to 11, which is greater than 10. And thus I can just take 11 as the person in the team. Okay. So what I have actually done here is. If I take eleven as the team, what is the what is the size I have to make? The size of the team is just equal to one. And if I go to the right by one, like if I take this person in the team, what is the rest which is left? This which is an empty subset, which is zero. So what I have seen here is, if I take this as a team, how many teams I can form with this suffix, which is zero. And I have formed this team, so the maximum number of team is one, which is zero plus one. Okay, you will understand more if I take nine. Now, if I state that nine is the minimum person in the team, then if nine is the minimum person in the team, what I actually have to do here is, uh, we have to check that we have to take at least two elements. If I have to take two elements, we will take two elements, and then jump to the rest a half. So, like after two elements, go to the After two elements, and check how many elements are required. How many teams you can form with this suffix? Okay, so after two, because you can check that if nine is the minimum element, I want to take two elements. I will take these two elements, and then I have to check that after these two elements, how many teams I can form with this part. It is zero, and we can form this team as a one part, and thus the The maximum number of teams ending, or the if we take nine as a minimum part, is one also. Why? Because this is one team, and this is not forming any team. This is empty, and so this is one. Now we will do the same for seven. For seven, we require two elements. Okay, so because seven to the forty. So what we can do here is, if I take two elements, then what we will do, we will take these two elements, and we will check what is the maximum number of teams I can form with this suffix. As we have calculated for 11, I have seen that for this suffix, I can form a maximum of one team, and I have taken this as a team because this is the minimum. We will take this as a team, and then for the suffix, the maximum number of teams I can count or like extract out from this part is one, and this form will one team, and this the answer will be one plus this, which is two. I hope you understand how we are building this, and we'll do the same for two, and we'll do for one. And then we will find out the maximum of this whole DP or the number of maximum teams we can form, which is just two, and answer is two. I hope you understand the logic. Let's move on to the code part now. So the code is also very simple. You take the input of all the numbers, sort them, and then answer is just. We will do the answer, which is the DP matrix. This answer is num like n plus one because the last element is zero. We'll initialize everything with zero. We'll move from the last to the front. Then required is the how many numbers are required, which means that if we take 
the ith number to be the smallest number what is the required num how many persons are required to form a team with this number as the minimum number which is just actually the seal so actually i'm find, finding out the seal with x okay so what i'm doing here is like if we are totally dividing it with zero then we just x divided by ai or we are, if we add one this is just we are actually finding out the seal of x divided by ai after finding out the seal we will check that if we go if we take this as the smallest number we want to form a team like let's assume this is a very small number and the number of teams required is 5 so let's assume that this is 2 and for this to be 2 if we divide 2 divided by 10 we need at least 5 persons but there is only 3 persons we, we, we are assuming that this is the least person there is only 3 person we cannot go any further down the line we cannot take more persons because we have till now only 3 persons and thus the answer for this is 0 and if i on the index we are and the required is become greater than n because we cannot take out more person we will continue everything is initialized with 0 we will continue else the answer is just 1 1 means that we have taken this as a team plus i plus required because we will jump required number of size if I go required number of size, we will check out what is the maximum number of teams I can extract out from I plus required, which I have already calculated out. And then in the end, we will find out the maximum element from the whole answer dp vector we have calculated. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.